Welcome to Electron Line. Another great application for the Monte Carlo simulation is when you're trying to run a project and you're wondering how much risk is associated with your project. In other words, what could go wrong and if it goes wrong, how much would it cost to remedy that problem? And of course, we have to assign a certain probability to each of the possible risks that could occur. What's the probability that the risk will actually materialize? And then if it materializes, what's the impact? How much will it cost to take care of that risk? And so we have a low estimate, a medium, and a high estimate to each of the risks and a probability of what we think might happen when it occurs or what the probability will be that it will occur. Now let's assume that it's possible that none of the risks materialize. So if that happens, there'll be zero additional cost to the program. But there's also a possibility that all of the risks materialize and there's the possibility that we'll have to remedy it at the highest uh, predicted cost. That way, that would mean that the project will cost an additional $300,000. K stands for a thousand, so that would be $300,000 if all the risk materialize and it's the maximum estimate of what it will cost to take care of that risk. Of course, this is a very unlikely scenario and this is a very unlikely scenario. But the project manager may ask you, well, what do you think is the most likely scenario? And so again, we can assign, of course, you already assign a, a probability to each of the risks, and so we can assign a random number to each of those. Since this adds up to, let's see, 50, 60, 100, we could assign two numbers out of 10 for this probability, three out of 10, one out of 10, and four out of 10 to, to simulate the, um, the probability of occurrence. And then we can assign numbers, random numbers, to 20K, 30K, and 40K. Again, we could potentially assign probabilities of how much it will cost to remedy the risk if it materializes. Then we run the simulation many, many times over, and then we'll get a curve where the curve will hit a maximum at some point. The most likely scenario is that, we'll, that the risk materialize to a certain extent and that the cost to remedy it will materialize to a certain extent. When we add all of up, our simulation would then show, for example, that we would have to pay an additional $220,000 to take care of all the risks that will have materialized at the impact estimation cost that actually then of course happens. And so that's, that means that this is the most likely scenario and therefore we better have an additional $220,000 ready to go to take care of those risks when we execute our project. So there again, it's a really good way to give you the most likely scenario of what's going to happen with the risk and how much the most likely cost associated with those risks when the project is being executed. Of course, a good project manager would take a look at that and go, what can we do to prevent this from happening so that we don't have to pay the additional $220,000? And that's also, of course, part of running a project. But you do have to realize that things will go wrong likely and so therefore you have to account for additional costs if those risks materialize and that is how it's done by using the Monte Carlo simulation.